Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. And um, still so much going on. We've got uh, three days to go till the new uh, Patreon content for September, um, which will be, um, well, three puzzles and a meta puzzle. So um, do look forward to that. Uh, join us on Patreon if you will. That would be very kind. And uh, we look forward to presenting that to you. That'll be the follow-up to last month's Grockles Heatwave um, hunt, which I am still working on a solution video for. Apologies, that's taken a while. Um, now, also on Patreon, of course, Zetamath's Brilliant Elements of Sudoku, which is, well, it's caused quite a stir. People have eventually got through it and said, of course, but it isn't easy to understand what that's a puzzle in which you really have to work out what the rules are on your own and that's pretty difficult so more like a puzzle hunt in some ways um on the channel we have of course featured things like simon solving the witness we have had the lollapazoola crossword by brooke husick we have had um all sorts basically very many different puzzles yesterday's video by simon of a Puzzled by Jovial, a classic Sudoku, frankly incredible. I, I was blown away by that. I really was. Uh, do have a look at it if you haven't already. I'm sure you probably have. Now, let's have a look at what we've got today. This is from David Miller, and I think it's his first time on the channel, although I'm not prepared to swear to that. We are apparently four years old in terms of doing Sudokus now, so uh, that's quite a lot of water under the bridge anyway. This is an arrow Sudoku, so a relatively simple rule set. Uh, the numbers along an arrow must add up to the number in the circle of that arrow. So those three digits add up to that one. Um, and that is, that's what we get. Normal Sudoku rules as well. Lovely pattern. I mean, the arrows are all symmetrical. Do note that. They obviously fire around the perimeter and then there's these other two. Uh, the digits given are one, two, three, four four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in a, another symmetrical pattern. Absolutely fascinating. Um, looks like there's plenty of information, but apparently it's not that easy to get into from what I hear. Anyway, we'll see. Do give it a try because it's not that hard a puzzle overall, but um, let's see how it goes. I don't really know. Um, let's get cracking. Yeah, let's look at... Well, yes, this arrow I highlighted, this is clearly relevant. It, there can't be a one on it, and it's a three cell arrow, so we're away. That is a two, three, four with a nine in the circle. And that is because the minimum three numbers you can have if there's already a one unavailable, and they have to be different, is two, three, and four. They add up to nine, and nine is clearly the maximum number that can go in a circle. So what do we do with the rest? That could be a five with a one four there. So oh, well, that would put too much pressure on this arrow. So it couldn't be a five. Could it be a six with a one five? Then you could get to use the two here. Yes, that could be, that would be fine. Um, this is nothing like as helpful because the given digit in the box is a 9. The fact that there's not 9 in those two cells means one of these is a 9. Yes, 9 can't be on an arrow here. We've got 9s now looking at all the cells, so this must be a 9. And then this must be a nine. One of those is a nine. Yes, again up here, nine is in one of those two arrows for sure, because all of these are ruled out by the nines we have in the grid and nine couldn't be on an arrow or its circle would have to add up to a double digit number. We can't have that. Oh, maybe eight. Eight can't be there either because of this eight. Actually, no, eight could be there or there or there, so no. Uh, 
Ah, okay. Let's look. Let's look at these six arrow cells. Now they all have to be different. So they have to be at least one, two, three, four, five, and six, which makes 21. So the arrow, the, the circles for those arrows have to add up to at least 21 plus this cell, which is at least two. So they have to add up to at least 23. So now they are either 986, since they're in the same column, or 987. If they were 987, they would add up to 24. Now, you know the rule of 45, I'm sure, which says that each row, column, and 3x3 three three box of a Sudoku adds up to 45. So if these three added up to 24, these other ones in the column would be 45 minus 24, which is 21. And because the arrow cells have to add up to 24, that would be a 3. And that looks plausible. Now, if these added up to 23, these would add up to 22, and that would have to be a 1. And that's not happening. So we've got it. This is a 3. These are 8 and 7 to add up. No, hang on. Which way around was it? Yes, that's the right way around. So 8 must be there. 7 must be here. And now, if you take off that 24 from 45, these arrow cells will add up to 21, plus that 3 is the same 24 as their circles, which is lovely. Okay, so ah, 7 can't use 2 and 4, so it must be 1 and 6. That leaves 5 and 3, and we can put them in because of these. In fact, that gives us a sort of x-wing pair. 3 and 5 must be over here in row 6 somewhere. Now can we keep going round? Yes. This arrow for the 9 can't be 8, 1 or 6, 3 or 7, 2 because of what appears in the box. So that must be 5, 4. 8. Yeah, 8 can't be on that arrow because this can't be a 9 and it can't be in one of those two cells because it would make this arrow add up to at least 10. So 8 is in the circle. This is... Uh, is it definitely 6 and 2? Yes, it is. And we can fill them in. This is a 1-3 pair. Now, can we pull the same trick up here? These 6 add up to at least 21. If they added up to 21, these would add up to 24. That would be a 3. That's possible. If these added up to 22, oh, these would add up to 23, and that would be a 1. That's also possible. So there are two ways I think that can work. Oh, what can this be, though? Oh, right, yes, of course. One and three on an arrow. So this can only be a two, four, or five to stay within the numbers. And a four or five would make that eight or nine, and they're already in the box. So that has to be a two. That's a six. And now, did I work out that these had up to had to add up to... 23 or 24? Or was 22 possible? No, 22 is not possible because the arrow digits would add up to 23. So these these must be an 8 and a 9 now. I think that is definite. Um, right, and now we know they add up to 23. So because of the rule of 45, they add up to 22. And that's a 1 to make up the difference to 23. So we get a 3 there. So whichever of these is an 8 is having a 7-1 arrow. Whichever one is a 9 is having a 5-4 arrow. And I can't resolve which way around that goes. Oh, I can put an 8 down here just by Sudoku. We get a 1, 2, and 3 fill in. So maybe our oh, 8 there stops that being an 8. This could still be 6-5-1, though and various possibilities with a seven, I think. Well, two possibilities. So, ah, look. Oh, there's gonna be a lovely parity way of doing this row. 
Now, parity is odds and evens. So remember that the row adds up to 45. That's an odd number. Now take out the three, which is an odd number, and you're left with 42, which is an even number. Now that's even. This total must be even because those two plus that must make an even number because they're 2x. Same for that. So we've got evens all the way along there and odd there. This must be even. So it's eight. That's very pretty. So this is nine. That goes with four, five, I said. The eight goes with seven, one. And I think we're, we're getting there now. We really are. So um, it hasn't actually told me. Oh, nine now in this box must go here. Uh, this can't be 3, 6, because that can't be either of them. It can't be 1, 8, because of that. It could be 7, 2, or 5, 4, and both of those will determine this. Ah, come on, think. Um, right, what, what do these add up to? Having got that as an 8, 11. So this is either 2 or 4, so that takes us up to either 13 or 15. So these arrows add up to 32 or 30. So these two, which must be half of that, is add up to 15 or 16. Oh, and with an eight there, that means this must be a nine, but it doesn't actually resolve this one. Ah, okay, so the nine can't be eight, one or seven, two either. So all of these are from three, four, five, and six. That can't be right. Ah, that's not right. Yes, okay, where does two go in this box? That's nice. Can't go there because the seven would also have to go there, but it's there. And that two says not there. So this has become a two. Um, oh, right, and these remaining ones are a three, four, five, six. Ah, but look, we've got a three there. So that's the four, five arrow. This is the th this is the three six pair. Four has sorted that. Now we've got seven one and six to put in, so we can put those in. And now, apart from these four five pairs, all our arrows are done because I can fix those, and we can just move on to some classic Sudoku. I think at this point, um, this is a naked single eight. Five, three, let's look down column six. Yes, four, one, five. Good place to start. We've got eight and four to fill in here. Seven and three to fill in here. There is some lovely symmetry here, which kind of tells you which way around to go about the puzzle. Uh, five and seven here, they can go in. I still can't do that three, six pair. Let's get rid of that pencil marking. Now these include a nine, that's there, and a two. This is an eight. Five and six here. Ah, oh, I can't do those, that's surprising. Right, uh, I need to find, I would think, a naked single. No, where does nine go in this row? That's simple enough. Nine goes there. Two in the same row must go there. Now let's look down the column. That becomes a naked single three. That fixes this pair. And now I think we are cruising. Two and four here. Yes, they're done. That fixes the five four pair. That fixes the six five pair. This is a very neat puzzle. Not too difficult. So that's been quite good fun, I think. A uh, seven and a one, and that should do it. Very nice from David Miller there. Really interesting solution. Fascinating symmetrical setup as well. That's really well worked to make that work. It's not, there's a chance there's a slightly simpler break in than doing the maths down, down column one and column nine, but I think that was a very elegant way in. So well done, David. That's really interesting. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching. Fairly quick one tonight, but uh, I'm sure we'll be back for something crunchier tomorrow. And uh, I look forward to seeing you then. Bye for now.